Hello everyone, my name is Anato and today we are again trying to demonstrate uh, Coma 3 using Shane's 0.8.1. Uh, I live in Long Island, uh, so it's probably a little bit traffic at this time and it's 8.17 and right now I'm going to show you guys how it performs. Let's see. So as you guys can see, I I'm trying to increase the speed so that you know people don't get disturbed. So it's 40. I completely remove my hand from the steering wheel, but I am prepared to take over. And uh, yeah, the car is going on 41 mile per hour. There is a car in front of us, and the car slows down a little bit because of that car. It just cuts off the red car. As you guys can see, the car immediately shows the lane, and he gets moves a little bit left side to stay in the middle. So um, my cousin used this car. This is a Toyota Prius Prime 2021 uh, model. So he said like this fork works so good like like compared to other other forks. So Shane's fork again the version is 0.8.1 as you guys can see I'm not literally holding anything the car doesn't the Koma 3 doesn't even give any notice like you have to like um, keep your hand on the wheel so it's a good thing like in Tesla you always have to keep the hand on the wheel right so as you guys can see I'm like literally sitting in the car not even like trying to hold the sterling wheel or anything else so yeah following the front car there is a car on our right side the lane is a little bit curvy on the left side the car stayed exactly in the middle which is pretty good in this video we're gonna uh, try to you know demonstrate like how it performs on the curvy road because I know like in coma it like it didn't even make a left turn or right turn yet because of um, because of like um, all the cars doesn't have support for the steering wheel to do that so yeah but at this point as you guys can see the car is at doing the next amazing. Light, turn left it also changed lanes so I will try to do that uh, in a second whenever it's clear and safe to do right now it seems like it's clear I notched the steering wheel a little bit and it did that perfect perfectly fine at the light turn left onto Hawkins Avenue okay, I have to take over guys because I have to make a left I didn't even follow but at the light it says at the light so we're gonna do it right now here okay another thing like still the Shane's fork doesn't recognize the light but some other third party um, fork they have support for the red light and green light but my, my cousin said like it's not perfect yet so yeah we're not gonna do it until it's perfect but at this point I'm gonna say like the keep like lane keep assistance and everything the open pilot works perfectly whenever like it's very curvy road and everything so it seems pretty good I'm gonna make this video too long so we have like eight minutes to go to our uh, home but uh, probably four more minutes we're gonna try to show you guys how it performs after this left turn because we are right right now in a semi highway probably the left, like speed limit is 45 but I want to show you guys how it performs on the local road that's why we're going in a local road right here and you guys will see how it performs In 1.6 miles, turn right onto Smith Street. So I turned on again, I'm increasing the speed to 30, 35 probably. Yes, so as you guys can see, it can recognize all the lanes. It is stayed in the middle. The 
there's a green light, but we're gonna go straight. So, yes, so the car immediately saw the lamp and it moves to the left a little bit because of twisting on the left side, on the middle. So there is a red light and the car slows down because we have a car in front of us. So when there is a car stopped in front of us, the car can recognize that and stop uh, right away. But if there is no car and there's a red, red light, the car will move forward. But you have to stop yourself, you know. So let's see, at this curve, as you guys can see, I'm not holding, I'm not holding, guys. And the car did it perfectly, perfectly. It's a very good sharp turn, I, I must say. It's not a like left turn, immediate left turn, but it's a very good curvy road. So it did it perfectly. This car slows down a lot. And the pedal a little bit. So 35, 37, so 36. Yeah, so at that point I'm gonna say it's pretty impressive guys, right? So you can like you you could be like like you know like you would be like very relaxed when you're driving with this in the highway as well as in the uh, local road. Yeah. So hopefully they will update like more software and uh, we'll get a very good thing you know in future so thank you for watching guys make sure you subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching you have a wonderful night take care